All children of God are by destiny children of exploits, designed to thrive where others fail, to conquer the obstacles others fear, and to do the impossible. But notwithstanding how great a destiny God has in view for you, you'll need faith to make it a reality. Faith Moments, brought to you by Patrick Penu Ministries, would give you insight that would guarantee your victory over the forces of poverty, sickness, and disease. It will enable you stand in the midst of opposition. And now, Reverend Patrick Quayne. Thrive where others Give thanks with a grateful heart. Okay. Okay. What a day the Lord has made. What a day the Lord has made. What a day. Thankful Thursday. Thankful Thursday. Thankful Thursday. What a day the Lord has made. And we are grateful to Him for all that He has done. We give him thanks. We give him thanks. We give him thanks. We give him thanks. 
zillion thanks, zillion thanks to our God for He is good and His mercies endure it forever. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you this day, this hour, moment, this minute with a thankful heart for all that you have done for us and still doing even in our lives. Spirit of God, we pray that you will let revelation knowledge increase. Bless your people with understanding heart, even as we express our gratitude to you for all that you have done. We are grateful to you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Well, wherever you are under the sound of my voice, <clears throat> I am um, bringing you greetings from above and from my home this thankful Thursday. Well, in, um, in line with our topic and our series of giving, uh, this day of Thanksgiving as celebrated in the, in the United States here, we thank God for how far He's brought us and what He's still doing in our lives. We give Him thanks and we give Him praise. So we'll be talking about Thanksgiving be talking about Thanksgiving in line with our subject or the series of giving. Um, if you are not a thankful person, you cannot be a giving person. <laughs> Did I just say that? If you are not a thankful person, you cannot be a giving person. Or let me let me rephrase it. If you are not a thankful person, uh, it, yeah, the challenge of your giving um it's evident if you are not a thankful person your your chances of being a giving person is 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 uh, very slim and therefore we can understand why <clears throat> you are not a giving person because you are not a thankful person so put the thanks and the giving together thanksgiving huh <laughs> thanksgiving we are thanking god uh, t uh this day for all that he has done and still doing in our life. The importance and the spiritual benefits of thanksgiving in our prayer life cannot be overemphasized. Are you listening? The importance, the importance and the spiritual benefits, the importance and the spiritual benefits um, in our prayer life cannot be overemphasized. The Bible the Bible tells us that God resists the proud. God resists the proud by gives grace to the humble. God resists the proud. If you are a proud person, you cannot be a thankful person. And if you are a proud person, you cannot be a given person. Are you listening? Come with me to uh, the book of James. Let's, let's look at some scriptures. All right. Stay with me. I'm going to be very short with you today because we are going to go home and um, enjoy and reflect on the, the the goodness of God even as we give him thanks today all right now James um, the fourth chapter James chapter 4 look at verse 6 James chapter 4 look at verse 6 but but he he God gives more grace he God gives more grace therefore he says God Resist the proud and gives grace to the humble. God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. And so when it comes to the area of thanksgiving, uh, if you are a proud person or if you are a proud hearted person, uh, there's no way you can see what God has done for you. What you're going to see is all that you think it's your doing. And so you would not you would not um, have an attitude and the recognition of who God is for you to give thanks. All right. When it comes, when you are a proud person, when your heart is full of proud of pride, you will not see uh, that all that you have came from above. God's message and compassion. It's so great in your life but if you are a heart you know um 
Good morning to you, Stella. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Stella. God bless you. All right. Um, I guess a lot of people are, uh, they are sleeping today because it's a Thanksgiving day. Stella, invite your friends. All right. Call them. Tell them it's time. All right. Tell them that it's time to come on, on, um, on, the, on, the, on the platform. Now, so we're talking about the fact that um, uh, the importance, we're talking about the importance um, and the spiritual benefits, the importance and the spiritual benefits of thanksgiving in our prayer life, the importance and the spiritual benefits. I mean, this cannot be overemphasized, like I said. All right. And the uh, Bible tells us again that God resisted the proud. God resisted the proud, but gives uh, grace to the humble. And uh, we see that in James, the fourth chapter, the sixth verse. All right. But the creation is how the question here, the question here is, um, how do you become humble? How do you become humble? If that is your question, how do you become humble? It is done by being thankful. How do you become humble? You become humble by being thankful. If you, if you, um, if you um, um, cultivate the attitude of thankfulness, that will bring you to the state of humble. You, you come before God to humble yourself. Now, come to um, Philippians chapter 4 also. Philippians also chapter 4 verse 6. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. Now we see uh, in James chapter 4 verse 6 that God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. Okay? God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble in um, James chapter 4 verse 6. Now come to Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. The scripture says that be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. With prayer and supplication by, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to God. Let your request be made known no to God be anxious for nothing but in everything but in everything but in everything by prayer and supplication supplication puts you in the place of humility supplication puts you in the place of uh, seeing that there is a, a higher deity there's a bigger person who takes care of you who preserves you who provides for you who undergirds your path now, if you refuse, as people have done before, well, God will also respond to you because he is a jealous God. He created you so that you can acknowledge him for who he is. Now, whether you do or you don't, it does not change him. Are you listening? Disciple Rama, God bless you. All right. Whether you do or you don't, it doesn't change God. But... God will let you know that he is the boss. He is the, the, the Godfather. He is the big Maha. Are you listening to me? And so this, um, James 4 says that God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. He resists the proud. Now, how do you, how do you become humble? You become humble by being a thankful person. If you are not a thankful person, you will, you will, uh, you will uh, uh, cultivate the attitude of pride, of pride, of pride. And um, we see that in the in the Bible tells us in in the life of Lucifer, Satan, he was a prideful person. Are you listening now? Where, he, where is he now? He's been cast out of where he used to enjoy his life. Out of heaven onto the earth. Okay, onto the earth. And so when it comes to thanksgiving, it's very essential and important. Uh, and when we're, you know, we, we are we're talking about the importance and the spiritual benefit of thanksgiving. The importance and the spiritual benefit of thanksgiving in our prayer life we cannot overemphasize this now 
a good rule is to be careful here as we see here the good rule here is to be careful for nothing in other words you don't have to be you don't have to worry about anything are you listening you do not have to worry the good rule here is to be careful it says be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving with thanksgiving now these are the important things you need to look here when it comes to the area of prayer supplication with thanksgiving let then you let your request be be made known and uh, that is after you have uh, you have um, made a supplication giving thanks then you let your request be made known to god so you don't just come to god and start requesting things of him without acknowledging who he is first of all you must know who he is in hebrews 11 the sixth um um verse the 11 chapter the sixth verse says that faith i mean those who come to god must first believe must first know that he is all right so you come into god you must know first of who you are coming to who are you coming to who are you coming to talk to to pray to to request of you have to first know who you are coming to so um the the good rule is to be careful or not to be worried at all six for um th philippians 4 6 again be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication now this is the key point with thanksgiving with thanksgiving if you are not a thankful person it will be difficult for you to be a giving person if you are not a thankful person it will be difficult for you to be a giving person it's as it's as simple as abc because you you wouldn't be in a state of uh appreciating what anybody has done especially what god does for you because you don't even acknowledge him are you listening so it's very important that is philippians 4 um 6 be prayerful in all things he says don't be anxious for nothing, but be prayerful in all things. Now, come with me to um, um, First Thessalonians. Come with me to First Thessalonians five eighteen, five eighteen. First Thessalonians five eighteen. Let's see something here. I want to give you a couple of scriptures today. Uh, you know, for for you to um, uh, meditate on. Uh, look at verse 18 first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 says in everything give thanks for this is the will of god in christ jesus for you in everything give thanks in everything give thanks in everything in everything give thanks bible says in everything give thanks for this is the will of god the will of God is for you to appreciate all that he does for you. Now, maybe you think that God doesn't take care, doesn't care for you. Now, I'm, I wonder, I wonder, you know, where do you buy the oxygen that you breathe in? Eh? Where do you buy the oxygen? God is giving you all this free of charge. And yet you don't pause to thank him. Every breath you take, you must thank God for the giver of your breath. So we need to cultivate the attitude of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. This, this thanksgiving is not only for you to be uh, eating turkeys and, you know, enjoying the families. Well, it is good, all that. It's all good. But when you have come together, when you have come together with a family and friends and loved ones, remember that it is god who giveth all things for you to give thanks in everything first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 in everything in everything give thanks in everything give thanks for this is the will of god it is the will of god all right it is the will of god evangelists 
Virginia Bennis Allen. God bless you, woman of God. All right. In everything, the Bible says, in not some things, in everything, good, bad, ugly. Give thanks. Give thanks. You know, you know, Paul says the other day, he says that uh, all things work, work together for good. All things, not some. So most of the time, uh, the things that you think is evil and is working against you is rather working for your good. It may look evil, but beloved, just stick in there. It will turn out for your good. Nothing, nothing would, I'm telling you, the things that you think they are evil, they are rather for your good. If you, if you are a thankful person, you will, you will have the same testimony I'm talking to you about. It may sound evil. It may look evil. It may, he, it may feel evil, but God will turn it out for your good. So we got to give thanks. Are you listening? You got to give thanks. It's very, very important that we do that. It's, it's extremely, extremely, extremely important. We cannot thank God enough. Now come with me to Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. Chapter 1 verse um, 21. Romans 1 21. Let's see some scriptures here. I'm going to give you a couple of scriptures. I'm not going to bore you for too long because I know, you know, your turkey is in the oven. You have to go and check it out and all those good stuff. But beloved, it's, it's, um, it's a time to reflect also about the goodness of God. All right. So once you are doing all that, remember, remember, remember who has given you the ability to do all that. Romans chapter uh, 1 verse 21, because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God. Although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God. Now, were thankful, underline that word, were, neither were they thankful, but became future in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Their foolish hearts were darkened. All right? Although they knew God, they did not glorify Him. Beloved, that is a, that is a spiritual high treason for you to know who God is and not acknowledge Him. And like I said, God is a, he's a listen, um, I, I need to find out where that, thing, that, that uh, uh, scripture is. He says, he says, my name is Jealous. All right, my name is Jealous. Jealous is another name for him. All right, God is a jealous God. Why do you, will he, and, and look at you, look at you. If you do something for somebody and then you realize that you did not get any, you know, acknowledgement of what you did, especially, you know, just breaking your back for somebody. And then you realize that you'd rather go and, uh, you know, just celebrate somebody else. How do you feel? How would you feel? And that is with our father also. And so verse 21, because now I want you to take time and read the scriptures. It's going to help you out. All right. And I'm telling you, God is serious when it comes to that. God is very serious when he comes to the fact that, you know, you, you, you don't acknowledge him, but acknowledge somebody or something else. All right. I'm going to read something to you. God don't mess up with stuff like this. You, you better give me what I deserve. In other words, that's what he's saying. You better give me what I deserve. Are you listening? All right. Watch this now. Uh, you know what? Let's start reading it from verse six, verse 18. Okay. Verse 18. That's Romans chapter one, verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Because what may be known of God is manifest in them. In other words, you're trying to take God's glory. Have you had anybody in the sp <laughs> have you had anybody says, well, I can, I, 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 I'm the one who healed you. I, 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 when you hear people like that, be careful, stay away. 
I'm telling you, that was that was the spirit of Lucifer, according to the word of God. I, I, I. And he's still talking I today. I, I did this. I did that. I did that. Not, not, not acknowledging who God is. And um, verse, verse 18 again, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Because what may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it to them. Watch this verse 20. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. So that they are without excuse. Because verse 21, that's, that's the area here. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God. They knew God, but did not glorify him as God. No, were thankful were they thankful, neither were they thankful, but became futile in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools. Professing to be wise, they became fools. Verse 23, and changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man, and birds, and four-footed beasts, and creeping things. You see, this this is this where this where what some people did. Now look at what what happened to them. Therefore, verse twenty four. Therefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness in the lust of their hearts, in the lust of their hearts to dishonor their bodies among themselves. This is what God did to un unthankful hearts. <laughs> Are you listening? On thankful hearts. All right. Verse 25 said, Who exchanged the truth of God for the lie? They exchanged the truth of God for a lie. Now, 21 says, Because although they knew God, they did not glorify Him as God. That is uh, Romans chapter 1, verse 21. Although they knew God, they did not glorify Him as God nor were thankful, but became futile in their thoughts, in their thought pattern, and, um, and their, their foolish hearts were darkened, foolish hearts. In other words, like I said to you yesterday, you hear my word, I hear your word, but God sees the heart. God sees the heart. Are you listening? And so he says, the scripture says that their foolish hearts were darkened. Now, verse 21 says, 25 says, because who they exchanged the truth of God for the lie and worship and serve the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this reason, God gave them up also to vile passions. For even their women exchanged the natural use for what is against nature. Verse 27, Likewise also the men, having the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust for one another, men with men committing what is shameful, and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error which was due. Beloved, lack of thankful heart, and lack of thankfulness or the attitude of giving thanks is not good. It's really, really not good. Not good at all. Very, very important. So we need to really get this, and um, you know, let us, let us, um, you know. So in uh, in line of our discussions in the area of giving, today is a thankful Thursday, and um, just giving you another opportunity for you to um, even as we celebrating or you know a person to um, um, have a time of thanksgiving all across you know this nation and beyond now second chronicles come to second chronicles the 31st verse second chronicles 
Second Chronicles chapter 31 verse 2. Second Chronicles chapter 31 verse 2. Come with me there. Let me see something with you here. Second Chronicles. Are you there yet? If not, tell me, Pastor, wait for me. Second Chronicles chapter 31. Second Chronicles chapter 31. Okay, Jamal, open this thing for me. Where we at? All right. Second Chronicles chapter 31. Now look at verse 2. Look at verse 2. Second Chronicles 31. Oh, I was in First Chronicles. Oh, Second Chronicles 31. Look at look at verse 2. Um, Hezekiah appointed a division. Okay, Hezekiah appointed the divisions of the priest and the Levites according to their divisions, each man according to his service. The priest and Levites for burnt offerings and peace offerings to serve to give thanks to give thanks and to praise in the gates of the camp of the Lord and to give thanks and to give thanks and to give thanks. Beloved, it's so essential and so important uh, in your life and in my life that thanksgiving should be um, something that we cannot overemphasize. Okay? Your spiritual growth, your spiritual understanding your spiritual mat maturity should also reflect your attitude of thanksgiving. Okay, your th also should reflect your thanksgiving. If you are not a thankful person, the possibility of you becoming a giving person is almost zero. If you are not a thankful person, the possibility of you becoming a giving person is almost zero. Now, why? Because a thankful person knows that in their heart that who they are and what they have was given to God, was given to them by God. Scripture says that what do you have that you did not receive? What do you have that you did not receive? Well, my own effort has given me this. My own ability has given me this. My own strength has given me this. Your own strength. And I wonder when was the last time you were able to count the number of the hair on your head? When was the last time were you able to do that? And yet, your your attitude is I, 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 I. Like um, um, Sylvia would say, self-trinity. Me, myself, and I. That is not a good attitude, okay, for you to show God. It's not a good attitude. So now <clears throat> you've got to be very thankful, all right. So in the in lieu and in, in line of um, our series of giving, today is a thankful Thursday, and it's very important that we express or we seal or we pause. Uh, even as we enjoy friends and loved ones, family members, we also have to, you know, remember to give thanks, to give thanks, to give thanks. Now, if you want to find out about the history of this Thanksgiving, well, you need to search it. I'm not going to spend some time here to talk, talk to you about that. But we got to give thanks to God. Are you listening? Very, very important. It's some. It's 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 a subject that we cannot we cannot overemphasize. And if you like again, I want to repeat this: If shalom people, shalom people. If you are not a thankful person, the chances of you being a giving person is zero. If you are not a thankful person, the chances of you being becoming a giving person is zero. Because giving, I mean, I mean. Thanks puts you in a place of humbleness, humility. James chapter 4 verse 6, all right, says that God gives grace to the humble. All right, he gives grace to the humble. He resists the proud. He resists the proud. And if you come to Philippians chapter, also chapter 4 verse 6, Turn, turn your Bibles there. We've, we've been there already, but for, for the benefit of those who are not um, 
uh, were not with us earlier. Look at verse 6 also. It says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, in everything, not in some things, in everything, good, bad, and ugly, by prayer and supplication. Here is the, here is the word. With thanksgiving, with thanksgiving, let your request. Now, when you, when you come to pray, you come to talk to God, all right, you make supplications to him. You humble yourself. You don't come with an attitude of pride to God. Well, God, it, it, it's your. I had I I, I saw um, um, you know this um, videos some people sent all over the place. A guy talking about God. It is you who created me and all these sufferings that I'm going through. It is your fault and all that. And I look at the guy and I say, My goodness, I wish I could just you know just smack him put some knock on his head and let, get some sense in his head and therefore he was blaming God for everything that he's going, he's going through. <laughs> anyway, so you got to come to that place of, uh, of thankfulness, all right, giving thanks. You give thanks, then you make your request. Prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known. So you have to do before your, you put your request before God, you have to express your thankful spirit and attitude to Him. You are thankful to Him that you first of all He has kept you alive so that you can even come and make your request, whatever that request may be. All right. So Thanksgiving is very, very, very important. The ancient world plugged into a terrible debt of sexual um, depravity because of their inability and the attitude of not being thankful. Not being thankful. And we saw that in Romans chapter 1, verse 21. Not being thankful. Look at what, look at what they went through. Look at what they went through for not being thankful. And again, um, Again, God is a jealous God, and I want you to remind, remind you that. God is a je jealous God. He doesn't, he doesn't share his glory with no one. And so if God has done some wonderful things for you, and then you want to go and make sacrifices to other, other you know, little nonsensical gods, like somebody would say nonsensical God, well, God is, going, is not going to be happy with you. God ain't going to be happy with you. No. With all that I did. Now, 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 again, I mean, look at you. How do you feel after breaking your back for somebody and then they turn around and don't say thank you? And there's a lot of people there like that. It's a lot of people. They don't say thank you. They do not say thank you. It's like, wow. I can't believe it. Not even thanks. For all that I've done, not even thanks. And beloved, if nothing else, if nothing else at all, for the sake of your salvation, for the sake of your salvation, you got to give thanks. You got to give thanks. Are you listening? You got to give thanks. You got to give thanks. Okay. Now, come with me to um, Revelations chapter, <laughs> Revelations chapter 4, verse... Um, uh, let's see, Revelations chapter 4, verse 11. Revelations chapter 4, verse 11. Come with me to Revelations chapter 4, verse 11. Let's see something here that is so important. Man, I love, when I read this, I, I was like, oh my goodness, I love it. Revelations chapter 4, uh, chapter 4. Are you there? All right, look at Revelations chapter 4. Let's read from 11. You know what, I, I want us to even start from, um, um, chapter 4 is very powerful. Let's start from verse, verse 8. And the four living creatures, each having six wings, were full of eyes around, the, around and within. And they, and they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is to come. Who was and is to come. Whenever, whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks 
to him who sits on the throne. They give thanks. Oh, they give thanks, beloved, who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever. Verse 9 again, it says, Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever. Verse 10 says, The 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne saying, verse 11, you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things and by your will they exist and were created. Oh my, I love it. I love it. I love this. I love it. You are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things. And by your will, by your will, man, I love that. By your will, they exist and were created. Come, ah, uh, I tell you, I tell you. Revelation chapter 5, come to the next verse. Man, I tell you, next chapter. Next chapter, man, I love this. Look at verse, verse 9. And they sang a new song saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain huh? and have redeemed us. Oh, my, 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 my. You have redeemed. Listen, like I said, if you have nothing to thank God for, thank Him for your salvation. If you have nothing to thank God for, a lot of people are not thankful. Hey! You cannot, you cannot take a minute to thank God for all that He has done. See, if you are not a thankful person to God, number one, your attitude says that you are not, you don't, you don't recognize who He is. You do not recognize God for who He is. And as, as uh, those in the uh, ancient world, they knew who God was, but they turned their back against Him. In Romans, if you go to Romans um, chapter 1, you see there, all right, and therefore they were Plunge, they plunge themselves into um, into foolishness, sexual depravity, and all that. Go and read it. You see there. Oh man, I love this. Now back to uh, Revelation here, chapter five. I love this, verse nine. And they sang a new song. They sang a new song, saying, "You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy to take the scroll and open its seals." For you were slain and have redeemed us. You have redeemed us. Do you? Are you a redeem of the Lord? Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Oh my goodness, man, I love this. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Beloved, if God hasn't done anything for you, he has redeemed you. Ah, Jesus, we love you. And have redeemed us to God by your blood. This is, look at that. Read, you have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation and have made us kings and priests to our God. And we shall reign on the earth as we are. Verse 11. Then I looked and I heard a voice of many angels. Listen to this now. I look and I heard a voice of many angels around the throne and living creatures and the elders and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands, thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice. All of, can you imagine that? I mean, all of them were saying with a loud voice, saying the same thing and just singing a new song. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are 
in them. I heard them saying, Blessings and honor and glory and power be to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever. Then the four living creatures said, Amen. And the 24 elders fell down and worshiped him who lives forever and ever. My goodness, may I love this. I tell you, beloved, you look at the, 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 the picture, you know, of, uh, of uh, man, I, you know, I, I, I'm there, I was there. I, I was there in the spirit and I'm still there. Hallelujah. <laughs> I love it. Oh, just giving glory to God, giving thanks to God, giving him thanks for all that he has done and still doing and he's going to do. He hasn't finished what he's doing. He has not finished. But beloved, we can't, I mean, the, the, the attitude of giving thanks again cannot be overemphasized. Are you listening to me? The importance of your spiritual benefit, this, your spiritual benefit uh, of thanksgiving, the importance it's so important for you to cultivate the attitude of thanksgiving. Today, if you are living and living and living and hearing me, you have the opportunity in this thankful Thursday to just take time to reflect on God's goodness, on God's mercy, on God's love, compassion, His grace, the ability for you to wake up this morning. Beloved, you may think it's your own ability and strength. It's not. Let Him take that from you and see where you're going to find it. Take time and, and just thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Just thank Him. That's why that's why um, uh, Paul says that uh, all things work, will work together for the good. Give thanks. Give thanks. Don't wait on you know the, the, the last Thursday or so of uh, the month of uh, November before you, you set up a time to give thanks. No, give thanks. Listen, we, 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 this, this nation have come to this um, uh, time of... Um, of friends, loved ones, and families coming together to give thanks. Guess what? Some people started it. And it's become a tradition today. Why don't you continue with that? Or why don't you start your own attitude and style of thanksgiving? Let others also come to follow. Thanksgiving is not just to be eating turkeys and, you know, watching the footballs and all that. It's all good. I mean, it, it's a time of fellowship. It's a time of, of families. It's a time of coming together at a table to just with one heart, one spirit, one soul, one body to lift up our voices to give thanks for how far God has brought us as a people. And so today, I want you to pause just pause as you spend the time before you even do that with your loved ones and family members and all that. Just just spend some time um, with God by yourself and give thanks. Just give Him thanks. Think of something. You can, I know there's one thing you can think of. There's one thing you can think of God to give Him thanks. Why? Because He's done so much for you. He's done so much. God has done so much for you and you should be uh, in the place of giving Him thanks. Are you listening? Of giving Him thanks. So why don't you do that? All right, let's give Him thanks for all that He has done. All that He has done for us. God has been so wonderful, so good, and uh, we want to give Him thanks. All right? We want to give Him thanks. So, Ah, Lord, we give you thanks. We give you thanks. Lord, we give you thanks. 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 
Lord, we give you thanks. We give you thanks. Many thanks. Zillion thanks. For all that you have done and still doing, we are so grateful to you. Lord, we cannot thank you enough. We cannot thank you enough. If we have a thousand tongues in our mouth, it wouldn't be enough to use to give you thanks. To give you thanks. You have been so good to us. You have been so good. So, so good. You have been so good to us. You have been so good to us. So, so good. Don't know. You, we, we, we come to a place we don't even know how much, what to even say anymore. We, we, we short of words to give you thanks for all that you have done and still doing. You are so good. For had it not been for you, men plotted evil, but you are so good. You took us out of the plot of the plottings of men to destroy. And you set us up on a high, on a higher pedestal, oh God, for us to fulfill the purpose for which we were born. We thank you today. Somebody need to give God thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Many thanks. Many thanks. Many thanks. Many, many, many thanks. Many thanks. We cannot thank God enough, beloved. I don't know about you, but what he's done for me and still doing, man, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. I cannot thank him enough. I cannot thank him enough. I cannot thank him enough. He's been so good to me. He's been so wonderful to me. He's been so great. I cannot thank him enough. I cannot. That is why. That is why I, I obey him. To just come on this platform every day. To share his word with you. And encourage somebody. And you know strengthen you. And bring you to the place where. You can, you can, you can increase in your understanding. I cannot keep it to myself because of his faithfulness, because of his goodness, because of his mercy. Had it not been for him, oh my goodness. Ah, uh, listen, listen. Bible says that many, all right, many are the afflictions. Many are the afflictions of the righteous by the Lord, by the Lord, by the Lord, by the Lord, by the Lord. He delivers. He delivers. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. So good. You are so good. You are so good. I don't know about you, beloved, but he's so good. He is just good. He is just good. What an awesome God. What an awesome God. He's so good. Lord, you are good. You are good. Mm. Can taste it. Can just literally taste it. He is so, so good. So, so good. I thank you for being my father. I thank you for being my mother. I thank you for being my, my sister, my brother. I thank you for being my friend. I thank you for being everything to me. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Oh, with an attitude of gratitude. Attitude of gratitude. Beloved, God is so good. He's so good. I don't know about you, but it is it is my prayer that you would just spend a, a minute just to thank Him. Hey, listen. Most of the time, you know, we 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 are looking for, you know, the big things. How, how about the the air you are breathing? How about the air you breathing? Did you buy it? When where did you buy the air you breathe? Look at the sun that is shining on you, giving you all this good, good environment and all that. Well, if you can, if you can look at what God has done for you, trust me, complaints, you will not have eyes to see anything negative around you. If you can see the goodness of God, Concerning your life, you will not have eyes to see anything negative. Try and see. You will not see nothing negative. But, but everything God does is good. Are you listening? He's, he's good. We give him thanks. We give him thanks. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste. Mm, 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 mm. 
It's so good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see. Taste it and see. Now, how are you going to taste what you what you don't know? You have to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You have to know Him as your Lord and Savior. How do you know Him? By prayer, supplication. Let your request of wanting to know Jesus be made known. By prayer and supplication, humble yourself. You cannot be humble if you are not a thankful person. And you cannot be a giving person if you are not a thankful person. And so, if you want to find yourself in this category, beloved, my suggestion to you is for you to cultivate the attitude of thanksgiving. All right, don't just make today a Thanksgiving day. Well, today is a thankful Thursday. Spend time and just give him thanks anyway. But you need to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, personal Lord and Savior. He died for you. Oh, yeah. And that is why when you know that, you can give him thanks without any reservation. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. So if you are that person you want to have you want to make Jesus your Lord and Savior right now, let me pray with you. Say I say it after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. And I've heard this message that I'm convinced that indeed you are the Lord. I surrender my life to you and I invite you now to come into my life. Be the Lord and Savior of my life. I give all that I have to you. I thank you for receiving me i thank you if you just say that prayer beloved without a question he has accepted you as well he has accepted you now i i i love for you to um, get yourself involved with an environment you know environment of of believers who understand what god has done for them all right, find in your geographic location, find a Bible believing, listen to me carefully, find a Bible believing teaching church and uh, get yourself involved with that. Okay, introduce yourself to the leadership and also let them baptize you. Tell them you need to be baptized in water. You need to be baptized. All right, position yourself for the infilling of the Holy Spirit. To walk with you to talk with you and to be with you at all times may god bless you may god shine his face upon you i bless you with all the blessings from on high i declare you blessed listen don't believe this hype of you you know your your you are cursed and uh you know your your family is cursed and all that god god hasn't cursed you if god has not cursed you why do you want to receive that from somebody god hasn't cursed you god has blessed you you didn't know that so now you know so begin to walk in the blessings of god begin to walk in the blessing of you're not a cursed person nobody is cursed. listen anybody can curse you all they want just walk in the blessings of God and let's see who has a power to manifest in your life. I want you to know that this thankful Thursday, we're celebrating God like never before, taking the time to just thank Him. Just thank Him for, for all, all the good things He has done and still doing and will do. Call, call a friend, talk somebody, Invite somebody, check on them, and just just spend a minute or two, three minutes. Ask, just ask them how they feeling, how they doing, and uh, thank God together with them that God has brought you this far. The year is not over yet. Listen, you you probably thinking, well, the year is almost over. God, uh, you know, I haven't seen it. It's not over. It's not over. A, a thousand years is like one day where God is concerned. 
and a day is like a, like a thousand years. God, God can listen. He can flip. He can flip the game. Eh? The game is not over yet. And until the game is over, beloved, don't think that somebody is winning and you are losing. It's not over. We serve a God who makes the first become last and the last become first. That's who he is. He knows how to do it. Just trust him. Just believe in him. Just have faith in him. Hebrews 11 verse, uh, chapter 11 verse 6 says that God expects you to show your, him your faith. Without faith, it's impossible for you to please him. And that you who come into him must first know that he God is. He is he is the only rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Beloved, don't let what is going on around you and all that you are hearing get you down. Keep your eyes on him, the author and the finisher of your faith. He will not let you down. God, God will not let you down. No. Mm -mm. He, he doesn't know how to lose. Did you hear what I said? God do not know how to lose. It, it's not his nature. He doesn't lose. So if you want to be on the winning side, be on the side of the Lord. I bless you with all blessings from on high today. God bless you. Same time tomorrow if he gives us the grace. If Jesus don't show up today, <laughs> we'll be together again. Let's spend some time today. Enjoy your turkey, your family, your loved ones. And uh, reach out to somebody who has a need. All right? Reach out to somebody also who do not have as much as you have. Go out there and be a blessing to somebody. Okay? Be a blessing to somebody. We are still um, preparing um, 100 blankets, 100 mattresses, 100 pillows, and 50 bunk beds to be a blessing to the children of this orphanage place in the, the nation of Ghana, a place uh, called Volta Region, all right, Volta Region there, and um, in collaboration with um, Love, um, Joy in Giving, Joy in Giving Foundation, we are, we are, we are looking to buy uh, 100 mattresses, 100 pillows, 100 blankets, 50 bunk beds, you know, bunk beds takes two people, one sleeping on top, and one at the bottom and uh, so therefore uh, be requesting that uh, you financially give to support uh, this this work let's be a blessing let's be a blessing the, the purpose of of us being a listen and, and think about that think about that with all that you you know we grab in it's it's out just fall down today with no breath in you you wouldn't you wouldn't even know what to do with all that you are holding on to the purpose of you being on this earth to all that you're going through is for you to come to understand what God created you for. For you to be a blessing. You are blessed. And nothing can change that. And that's why I love you. And there's nothing you can do about that. Well, God bless you. I want you to know that you don't have no trouble. All you need is your faith in God. And in all thy getting, just get understanding. Happy Thanksgiving. Give thanks because he's giving Jesus Christ. He saw and now let the weak say I am strong. <laughs>